So hair loss can be quite uh, difficult to manage in general practice. Um, some of the primary things is firstly taking a really good history from the patient um, and then working out really what banner of hair loss this comes under. So it's really good to try and work out if this is an inflammatory type of hair loss or a non-inflammatory hair loss and if it's scarring or non-scarring because these uh, sort of banners of, or umbrellas of conditions in alopecia are important to recognise and important to treat quickly for some of the inflammatory scarring hair loss. In terms of examination, it's useful to have some demoscopy uh, skills in looking at the hair um, and then recognising some of the more common conditions like alopecia areata versus say something like telogen effluvium and also female pattern hair loss, which is quite common. Uh, there's a number of tests that can be done as well in general practice, simple clinical things like the hair pull test um, to work out what is going on, but otherwise biopsies can be performed and that can help with the diagnosis as well. In terms of medications, it really depends on the underlying cause of the hair loss. So if it's a non-scarring hair loss and it's something like female pattern hair loss, which is very common, there's a number of therapies that can be used. Um, now, firstly, or first line therapy for this would be topical products like topical minoxidil, ranging from two to 5%. Uh, after that period of time, if that's not working so well, you can use uh, some oral medications such as uh, anti-androgen therapy like spironolactone or the addition of something like low dose minoxidil. Uh, other therapies include for inflammatory hair loss condition, more immunomodulating therapies. So these include things like intralesional steroids for something like alopecia areata, or also systemic medications in inflammatory hair loss conditions like lichen planus or discoid lupus of the scalp. There are some controversial treatment options for uh, hair loss. Uh, one that's becoming more common is probably uh, PRP injections. Um, this is a little bit controversial only because the evidence is a little bit limited. However, in some uh, countries and also in some practices, they do this quite frequently. It's actually a fairly safe therapy, which is good, but how much evidence there is, is uh, a little bit questionable. So I guess gentle uh, hair care is uh, important. So, you know, not tying the hair too uh, tightly because you can get traction, uh, alopecia as well. Um, not to put too many products or chemicals in the hair. And the other thing is if they are getting any itch or inflammation in their scalp, they can also look at what products they're using in their hair as well. There's a lot of potential for allergic or irritant contact dermatitis in a lot of products that are used. So as uh, dermatologists often try to work out if there's issues with these products uh, and then change them around or patch test them to see uh, if they can change products to get some benefit. Mm -hmm.